you know, Hector, the last time we had an opportunity to sit down, one thing stood out to me uh, above all. It, it almost feels as though the drug lords, um, at that time, you mentioned Jefe, uh, De El Jefe, not, Jefe de Jefe, which, which is Ernesto um, Fonseca, yeah. um, Cara Quintero, Rafael, and, right. and Felix Gallardo. Those guys, they right. have Mexico on smash. They're billionaires. It, it, it's clear right. that they were used from almost the beginning because I can't see a motive. Maybe you can tell us. Why would they mess up a good thing? They had everybody in Mexico on payroll. They walked around as legitimate businesses, businessmen. They had businesses. They had money. Uh, and they were untouchable. Can you find a reason that they would willingly participate in the, the, the interrogation, the capture, the torture, unless they were being used by both governments, it seems? That, that, that is correct. Uh, at that juncture, uh, Manuel Paradios, who was Secretary of Government, who I mentioned before, he had already been uh, given the, the, the coronation. He was going to be Mexico's next president. He was going to be uh, basically the guy running the country. He was trying to look good and please the U.S. government. He didn't want the U.S. government to oppose him becoming the next president. So he, I believe, was trying to basically please the Americans, be in tight with, a, with, 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 the, with, a, with the, the, the administration at that juncture. So he, he, he basically says, okay, we'll help you transport the weapons uh, south into, into uh, Nicaragua using six circuit routes, routes used by the, by the cartels. And also, we'll, we'll help you fund the war. Gee. We, we, you become partners with the cartels. They'll donate money. They'll, 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 they'll support the war. And there's congressional testimony that not only did the Guadalajara cartel, Caro Quintero, Fonseca, Mariardo, as we noted, but also uh, uh, Pablo Escobar, they were contributing money also to the CIA to fund that war in Nicaragua. Remember, Sean, it costs billions to find a war. I mean, you don't do it with millions billions. And this was the way that the CIA meaning well. Think about it. They felt that, that, that communism was our number one priority. We had to destroy communism, especially in South America. They felt they were doing the right thing. Okay, Congress is not doing the right thing. Congress through the Bolin Amendment is denying us fighting communism in, 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 in South America. So therefore, we'll figure out a way to do it. And they did. This is how they were funding the war. So they become partners with the cartels. The cartels are ordered by the Mexican government. You have to become partners with them. Open up your roots. Open up everything to the to the CIA. It'll and they'll take care of you by the way too. So it was a good arrangement. And you're right. The cartel members, they were already billionaires. They weren't millionaires. They were already billionaires. Fonseca, the jefe de jefe, owned banks in Mexico restaurants, resorts, you name it, he owned them. Carlos Quintero, at, 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 a, at a young age of a 29, 28 years old, was, was uh, head over a uh, hundred million in a uh, bank in uh, Luxembourg. He had his own, they had their own jets at their disposal. They, they, they had everything they wanted. Why would they go pick up Pemarena if they didn't think it was all gonna be fully protected? that it was all government uh, basically sanctioned, they wouldn't have taken the chance if they didn't know that the government, both governments, was going to protect them. That's what they said, okay, let's go pick him up. So they didn't trust just sending their, their own pistoleros, so they sent DFS to go pick him up with pistoleros, which are some of my witnesses that, that were there when Kiki got picked up. That's what the plan was, and this is why the cartel members took a chance. They said, why would they take a chance when they had everything? They only took a chance because they felt that they were 
be, going to be protected not just by the Mexican government, but also by the American government. They were pleasing the American um, government and the, the, the administration at that time. They're not dumb. Fonseca Carrillo used to make numerous trips to visit the president of Mexico and Los Pinos in Mexico City. He, I mean, that's why he was a jefe de jefes, because he had the highest government connections in Mexico. Does that answer Yes, your, your it, it very much, because from the outside looking in, I don't see a reason why they would have uh, kidnapped a DEA agent and put a target on their back if they didn't think that they were fully protected from the word go. It, it, it's clear working alongside the U.S. government as well as the Mexican government because I don't, I, I can't find one reason for them to do this and mess up everything that they had going. So, so they were clearly the fall guys in the end. What's up guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love. Make every move a power move. And I'll catch you all on the next video.